Hi, Air Signs. My name is Debbie, and I'm an intuitive reader. And I'm here today to give you guys your monthlies for December of 2022. Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so if you are interested in your own private reading, all the information is down below in the description box below. Also, check out the Amazon link down in the description box as well as pinned to the top of the comment section below. Uh, my new book is called Accepting the Gift. It's all about the paranormal. So let's get into it here. We're going to start off first from my sister from another mother. Uh, good old Libra here for December of 2022. It's just been such a draining energy uh, for you, I feel, in regards to a twin flame. You got the Empress here, but you're putting that all behind you. I feel that there's a, definitely a huge shift coming into your life now. You're ready to take that action. You could be dealing with fire. Oh, yes. <laughs> sounded so bad. Uh, the Queen and the King of Wands here does represent fire, but does not have to be. This is a power couple. There's a destiny waiting for you, I just heard, in regards to a meaningful relationship power couple like that. And you're looking right at each other. Huge shift in the, in the energy going on. So somebody, after quite some time, and it's confirmed again with the Nine of Swords, right above it is the Eight eight plus the ace of swords which is yet again nine of swords so this has been a trying extremely trying time almost wanting to give up not really knowing what to do anymore uh but i feel that now you're ready you moved away from that uh toxic energy of the mindset of that mental anguish okay through it all do feel it's twin flame as well meant to be relationship you moved it all away from that energy you healed your energy definitely uh you work through the battle of this you put the work into yourself here as well uh you drop in the burdens for sure and the heartbreak here now it's time for a change they are coming back holy moly here we go you ready <laughs> there's definitely a lot of mental anguish with these two cards and underneath it matches that so long journey of mental anguish you know, you decided back and forth that you were going to ground your energy. You were going to put all that behind you here for sure. You moved away from the battle of it all. You put work back into uh, your own self here and release that heartbreak. Okay, I do feel a little ghosting going on. Now, because of that, you're ready. There's a huge shift that is coming from your emperor. He is showing up as well, you know. There it is in regards to a relationship coming, budding, I just heard. So definitely power couple of fire does not have to be fire. That's just steamy. Somebody's sexy. And here it is. There's a huge change with that death card. They're coming back to apologize. And it's your emperor. So definitely a lot of twin flame energy going on. They're ready to step up. They're ready to, um, you know, could be an apology, but bringing in the balance with that communication once again to you. I feel that that's the end of a cycle too. I feel that you are definitely moving forward into this twin flame journey for sure as a complete couple here. So that is cool, Libra. Gemini. Gemini. I literally heard things have got to change. They have got to change. This is the way that you're thinking, Gemini. You do have the Five of Swords looking at the Death card. So it's kind of like things have just got to change. But I don't know what's up, what's down. You've been working on your energy. Keep doing that. I feel towards the end of the, I almost said summer. Towards the end of the uh, month here, uh, there's going to be communication, could be dealing with an Aries or just fire in general. But regardless, I mean, it's been a long time since you've heard from them, I feel, with that temperance, Sagittarius energy. You know, there's a lot of missing, okay, absolutely, with that Three of Swords energy, a lot of one of the unknown. Definitely Twin Flame, especially with the High Priestess here. She is that 11 as well as the Empress is present. So it's kind of like you just kind of meditate. You have the four swords right underneath it is the high priestess. That's meditation to me. 
you know, so I feel that you changed your ways through calming your energy, through meditation. Keep doing it. You know, this has been a long time, a lot of sadness over this, definitely. But you're looking at some kind of action that you're going to be taking, could be dealing with a fire sign. But really, it's about calming the mind here and balancing yourself, okay, and getting ready for a twin flame. That's what it feels to me. Healing, healing, absolutely. After a tough time with the Nine of Swords, I do feel that you're going to be completing that. They're making me add the Nine plus the Ten. So if you're talking to them and you decide that you need more balance in your life uh, to cut out that communication, ghost them a little too. But really, it's about releasing all the mental anguish over this, changing the way that you feel, and they are going to be returning back into your life. It's like prepping. It's like, you know how you get all wound up and excited and full of energy right before you have a baby? That nesting, that's what you're doing, okay? You're nesting. You're being that nature. You're being that mother figure of the universe here, grounded energy. You're nesting. For this, preparing to get this wish fulfillment of them coming back in this twin flame. You got two aces, ace of wands, ace of swords here of this twin flame energy. And that's when they're going to be showing the action back to you. So here it is, Gemini. Keep continuing to work. I do feel towards the end of the month that this person, your twin here, is going to be returning with communication and showing that action and healing this relationship once again. And that's what I have for the sign of Gemini. Let's gather and pull Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, I hope you guys are doing good. Let's find out what you need to know for the month of December for 2022. Okay. Oops, sorry. Boy, somebody's learning learned their lesson. I feel it's their counterpart here, or your counterpart, I should say. They're really thinking about things. Wow. You got the justice and the wheel of fortune together. Hello, that's karma. That's karma. You know, they're realizing what they did. They realize their mistake. They realize what they've done to you. And now they're ready to be eager beaver here and to participate, to give back into this, that even give and take. They've healed their mind. I feel they also... Uh, reminisce of the past. I also feel that they know that they were wrong. They're of sound mind because they healed their mind and they're returning back in. So it's kind of like universe basically said, we're going to slam you one, son, you know, and that really opened up their eyes to see what they've lost in their life with you. Okay, Aquarius. And now they, they are paying the price. They don't know how to, I just heard attack, meaning that they don't know how to approach uh, for them to say that word to me is like a sneak attack kind of thing, like coming out of the blue energy for sure. But they're strategizing to have a new start. They could actually feel like a fool too. Uh, you also have Libra energy. You have Aries here. But yeah, they want you back. And yeah, they're ready to show that work. Here it is, Eight of Pentacles. So yes, the sun is known for that yes energy. Yeah, I'm going to be putting in the work again because I know that I'm wrong and I want to bring completion of balance back into this. Now, they are making me subtract the eight from the ten of pentacles. That's the two of pentacles. So they are making a decision. But you see this? This is a thinking card. So it's kind of like, hmm. And with that two of pentacles energy that they showed me, it's kind of like I'm thinking. I'm overthinking. I should just do this already. You know, just make a decision, dude. But they are a nervous Nelly. Something really really nailed their butt, okay, in regards to realizing that they did you wrong here. Spirit basically slapped their honey. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, that's what it is. There it is. The Two of Pentacles. Knew it. Um, but yeah, definitely. They're going to have, they're a little nervous. I'm telling you, they're nervous here. They're going to have that inner strength to uh, communicate by making that choice after not communicating to you. Air sign energy again. But yeah, they were kind of pushing it off saying, I'll think about this tomorrow when it's actually only five minutes later. They think about they can't get you off their mind. OK, basically, they're going to have that encouragement to be able to make a decision and return. All right. Lesson learned for your counterpart big time. So 
That is what I have for not just Aquarius, but for all the air signs out there. Thank you all for watching. I do truly appreciate it. If you are interested in a copy of my new book, it is on Amazon. Uh, check out the link. It's down below in the description box as well as pinned to the top of the comment section below. Thanks, guys. Have a great holiday, Christmas, uh, and a great month all in all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.